hey guys hey guys my name is ranjit today i'm going to show you how to create a ball catching game basically the apple will fall from the top and then there will be a ball which you can control with the arrow keys first let's pick out the sprite and backdrop first let's go to sprites choose a sprite and then let's choose a sprite first let's go over the apple it should be falling down right then let's choose the ball the ball needs to catch the apple so we'll need it let's go ahead and delete this sp sp uh, scratch cat let's choose a sprite and let's search for a ball so we can use this ball there we go you can change the size for this, of course. You can make it about 120. Just a little bit bigger so that it looks like it's actually falling down inside the wall. Now let's start cooling the apple. So you want the apple to fall down when the, when the green flag is clicked, right? So let's pull out the one green flag clip. Once we pull it out, let's make a variable so that we can see the score when the apple touches the bowl. The score will increase by one every time the apple touches the bowl. So let's go to variables and let's make a variable and let's type in score. There we go. We have a score right there. And let's get a forever loop or a forever block. There we go. There's a forever. And also, we need to pull out in variables, set variable to zero because you don't want the score to be the same after you end the game. So let's pull that. The, then we need, to, we need to say that if this apple touches the ball it should come back up because you don't want it to keep on going and going and going so let's just go uh, to the events and then let's I mean control let's go right there if that dash then let's put it in the forever mode touching ball let's put this touching ball touching ball where is it touching there we go Let's put it right over the ball. If touching ball, then change score by one because you want it to show that it needs to change the score, right? Let's just take out the change score by one block. There's already a sound. There's a chomp sound. So let's pull out. Start sound chomp. Start sound chomp. There we go. Let's put it right there. And then once it touches the ball, it should go back up, right? And also it shouldn't keep on going in a straight line. So let's pull out the go to random position block go to random position then you want to set the y to 180 which is the highest it can be because we don't want it to be going here it should start going up from the top right so change 
y to 180. It's 65, but we shall make it 180. 180. There we go. We can enter it right there. Now, now we want it to go down, right? It will just stay up. Now we need to pull out when green flag clipped, we need to pull out that block so that whenever the green flag is clipped, it needs to fall down. Now we need to pull out the forever block because we don't want it stopping. There we go. Forever. This is the forever loop. And then we want it to move down, right? So let's pull out the change y by change y by let's do hmm, maybe minus phi. This will work. We don't want it to go mechanically. We want it to go a little bit smooth. It shouldn't go like this, this and this. Yeah. So let's pull out. Yeah. Now let's pull out the block. If if y position once minus one seventy, then because we don't want it to stay there after it goes to the bottom, right? So then we shall pull out if the if block. Is the if block if y position first let's get the operators if y position is lesser than one hundred and seventy then we should also pull out the y block because we don't want this to be blank if y y position there we go there's the y position so now it will go right down if let's see so here I accidentally made the mistake of doing it 170. We need to not do 170. We need to do minus 170. So, 170. Now let's stop and start. Let's just put it back there. There's one issue. Let's see. We have the when green flag click block. But the problem is it's it's keeping on going there. When green flag click, okay. That's okay. Also let's do something. There's still some more code to go. Now let's just finish this and there might not be a problem. Let's see. Y position uh, lesser than minus one hundred seventy. Go to a random position. Go to random position. Go to random position. Then, once it goes to random position, it should go to random position. Then we need to set the y to 180. 2, y to 180. Then, 
that's it. That's what. That's all the core in this block. Then we need to make one more small block. One green block. Which go to random position. Said so why? Two. Mm, one eighty. Go to random position. Go to random position. Set Y to. One hundred eighty. There we go. We've now coded this block. No, here there is a slight problem. Here, change x by 10. It shouldn't be x. That's the problem. It should be y. See, even I did not notice. Change y by minus five there we go let's do minus five let's just put it right over let's just put it right over when we have cooked, change y by minus 5. Then there's the forever loop. Then we need to put in this block. There we go. Now let's try it. Still not moving. Change y by. Still not moving yet. Now let's see why it is not moving. So, change my variable. Go. Start some true. Go to random position. Set y to 180. Forever. Also, we need to. Like this forever. You need to put this in the forever loop. Now let's see. And now it works nicely. There's the charm button. But I can't control the ball. So let's code the ball now. Let's go to the ball. Now let's pull up the one green flag clicked. And let's pull out the forever loop. Key. You can see if key. If we need to pull out the if block first. Sensing block if key space pressed. Let's the you can put load the you can. I'm just going to write block right arrow pressed. Then let's put the change by 10. Change x. By 10. Change x by 10. There we go. Plug the change x by 10. Now there's that. Now we need to do the same for the left arrow. You can first pull up the if block. 
we don't want it to uh, be in the same if block. Let's put the another one, and then it's in sensing. Then if key space pressed, let's do the left arm now. So now see. Now it's not moving. The only the right arrow is moving, but not the left. So we need to just change y. Change I mean x by minus ten. First, let me explain one thing. X is the side to side. So x is right side minus x is the left side y is the this side and minus y is the down side so now we need to plot the change y by let's just duplicate this and delete this and we just need to make minus 10 Now let's try it out. We cannot move it right now. Let's just pull it down there. Then let's see if we can move it. If key right arm first, left arrow. We can if then we need to also. The, oh no, this is wrong. We need to make it two separate books. This, let's put it up there. Now let's try it. Now, books. When it comes, it goes back up. And that's it. But there's one more thing. We want some scenery, right? We can just press this. Then we can go to backdrops. You can put your own backdrop. I will just choose a backdrop. And maybe the boardwalk. Boardwalk will do. Now let's pull it out. Oh, I might not have clicked it. You can choose your own backdrop. I'm just going to do the blue sky. There we go. This is the boardwalk. So it's really easy. It's not too complicated. Now also, I'll show you how to use the backpack tool. For some of you, in my last video, you see that maybe you don't want to download all of it.